Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And What's up, y'all? Uh, I see that this is an issue that I'm going to have to address because it, it affects so many people in cardio. When, that's the whole point of my channel, is for you to know what you're getting. I had a, I got a guy who was talking, and this is not, it's not him. It, I, of course, I ain't gonna say his name, so y'all know who it is. But I got an individual man. He's got a small Monte Carlo SS. He's had individuals before build him a box. Uh, Remember I tell y'all, I'll tell you, I've said this before, I'm not the best box builder in the world. I don't, by no means do I believe that I am that. I can build boxes. Uh, my focus is on output. I will not build a box that's going to make a sub choke to keep you happy or to fill a particular space. And that's what a lot of individuals are getting from shops and from other people that build boxes, I guess. They'll build them a box, man. They can care less if you're going to get the, the output that you want from it. But if it'll fit, they'll, be, they'll get it. Well, anyway, this guy has a 1988 Monte Carlo SS. He told me he had, I think he said he had 15s in there before. 14s. And now he's got two Sundown 12s. X-12s. And the dimensions he gave me for the box... I straight up told him, I said, man, listen, with the dimensions you gave me, you put it in there, we ride at five cubes, which is the minimum recommendation, 2.5 per. If you take off any number, we're going under five, which means we're losing performance. So what I was asking him was, why? Why did you even get these big these, these big subwoofers, these, these Sundown X-12s? Uh, he said, because he wanted to try something different. But this is what I want, and this is why I want to point this out. And this is not to pick on, this is not to pick on Sundown, this, 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 or Scar, or DC, Audio, but all those subwoofers, all of them, and I like them. I love my Sundown X8, but I know its limitations. I know what it's going to take to push them two X8s. I've played with them before, and I've built boxes for guys who had systems local, 12s, ZV5, ZV6. But I asked him, I said, why did you get these X12s? And really couldn't have me really get really couldn't give me no good answer. Because what he's doing is what a lot of y'all are doing. You're going on Facebook and you watch these guys, and Facebook has an algorithm that's only showing you whatever you look at, whatever it thinks that you look at the most, it's gonna go and show you that. So since some of these companies buy this information from Facebook, and this has been documented. Uh, they know how to gear their their advertising. They know how to gear their forms. So that's all you'll see when you go to Facebook is a certain thing. That's why Sundown Scar is all over Facebook. And it makes you think, well, if you don't have this, you can't get a given loudness. And it's messing y'all up for the simple fact, because that if you get an X12 or a ZV5 Series 12 or a DC Audio Level 4, Level 4, Level 5, anytime you get up to that 1,500, 1,750 RMS range and new subs are seriously underrated, when you got a wolf with a 7 to 80 pounds, 3-inch, 4-inch voice core, 500, 380 ounce motor structure. Bro, you that's a competition sub. I want to let you let y'all know that. That is a competition sub. Me and you need to be competing for the most part. Let me break it down to you. 1980 Monte Carlo SS. Stock alternator, 135 amps. 135 amps on the sub. It's rated 1750. 
We know it could take twice that. We know that a Sundown H8 can take 4,000 watts continuously, 24 hours. Hell, Jacob tests them. Jacob Fuller tests these subs at twice the rate of power for 24 hours. Y'all remember the videos back in the day when he was doing the thing with the Rockwood, Rockville and all that? He tested subwoofers. He know they can take this much power for that long. It takes that much power to really give them to move them. To get the full performance out of them, it takes that much power. But if you got a 135 amp alternator up front, he changed it over to a 370 Mac man. 370 amps, 370 amps. 370 times 10 is 3,700. 3,700, then he gets two batteries, two D3400 amps. Two, T, two, D4, T, two D excess power D34s. Couldn't even get it out. All right. Now he's able to, because... Remember, your system being powered by your alternator. By him putting the two batteries in there, it's helping to maintain that amperage. It's being drawn from the amplifier that's pulling in power to make the power to increase the amplify the power for the subs. Change from DC. Change, uh, using DC switching to take an AC signal in and amplify the AC signal out. Okay. Low voltage AC in, high voltage AC out. That's what an amplifier does. Using DC to switch. So a sub that takes 4,000 RMS, these go, it's going to need an amplifier that has a 400 amp draw. That's 4,000 watts. If you got one Mac man and two batteries, you can support 4,000 watts. That's just 112. You got two of them. Do I need another alternator? In a perfect world, that'd be nice. Or you need a serious battery bank. <laughs> Big D told y'all this, and it's so true. When you watch the amps on the, the, the on Donald's and the amps, do you notice that every time he meters it, he, he's 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 uh, uh test dynoing the amplifier that at whatever the amp rating is, the wattage is least. I say the amp, he, he said I say he's doing a, a 300 amp draw. The water's be 26, 28. You're gonna lose. You're gonna lose. But your amp draw is gonna tell you how much your watt is. That's what we call when we say, "Have you clamped? Have you clamped to see what power you're making?" So to get 4,000 watts to the sub, you're gonna need at least twice that. Because remember, impedance rise affects us all. So when y'all go out and buy these. Overly large competition. The reason why they competition subs, man, they're not for daily use. They're not for daily use. They they are for people who want to have the money. Hell, it's three hundred million people in America. It's a lot of people that got money. They can pay for a sub that costs eight nine hundred dollars. They can push. They they can realistically put four thousand watts to it. But the majority of you not. That's what my channel is for. The majority of you not. So you're going to buy these inefficient subwoofers, and y'all ain't got the electrical to really push it. You got a lot of performance left on the table, but you get to say, "Yeah, I got this. I got this brand of sub." And then somebody comes along who spends half the price that you did on a subwoofer that's way more efficient, and he's got the same loudness, same loudness, or maybe louder, but he spent half the price you did. That's what this channel is for, man. I'm giving you to, so you'll know what you're getting, and what you're going to have to get into to get the true performance out of the sub. I'm not taking nothing away from the ZV5, ZV6, X12. But when y'all call me, come to me for a box, and then y'all tell me our electrical system, it clicks in my head. Man, you ain't even heard the full performance of the sub yet. Because the first question I'm going to ask you, and some of y'all going to chime in, yeah, he going to ask that, what's your alternator rating? I don't care nothing about the amp. I don't care nothing about the sub. I'm going to go right back like I told you in the beginning. Let's get back to the front. What's your alternator rate? Oh, I got a, uh, I got a stock alternator. Oh, uh, okay. And you got a Honda Accord? Uh, so you really got about like 150 amps. Most of that going to electrical. What you really get into the sub is maybe 900 watts, maybe 1,000. 50 amps going to the car. And that's if you got extra batteries to support it. It's fat. It's fat. And y'all say, oh, yeah, it's banging. How? It's electricity and physics. How is it banging? 
You starving the amp. The sub is giving you performance, but there's a lot more performance left on the table. Man, that why no I'm not making these videos so y'all can see my face, man. And I really don't, I mean, I'm glad I'm going to 10,000 scrolls, but I hope y'all really listen and learning how to attain, attain a given loudness without breaking the bank and knowing what you're getting. And if you have the money to do so, do it. Do it correctly. You will not get me to build you no undersized box or no sub. Not going to happen, man. And when you ask me for recommendation, know these are the questions I'm going to ask. Watch these videos and pay attention to it. Stop looking, calling me and then message me for for, for answers to stuff. You, I gave you the direction to pick it and go look it up in Google. Find out for yourself. Stop being sheep. I love y'all, man. But come on, man. Stop being sheep, man. Research. Call me on the internet. Stop always wanting somebody to do the work for you. That's that fanboy, celebrity stuff. And that my subscribers going, don't think that when you call me, yeah, he gonna, you ain't stroking my ego. This channel here is for you to learn. That's why I'm doing it for the love of cardio. This channel here is for you to learn how to do it yourself. Know what you got. I'm gonna go buy the ZV5, Z6, and buy a single to put inside this car. I know all this stuff I need to do to push this. I need to get a 400 amp draw, 300 amp draw to push this sub effectively. Just one. And I put, if you put that much power to that sub in the single, in a, in a box that's done correctly, you won't sit in there. That's what I'm doing. That's how I'm able to maximize do what I'm doing with this 12. I ain't got no pixie dust, y'all. It's the facts, man. This is like a little rant, but I want y'all to really pay attention to what you're doing. Y'all, if people come down, they call them and they say these names like I'm being impressed. All I'm saying is you spend a whole lot of money. <laughs> you spend a whole lot of money. You can't even put yourself you bought. You got the name. You sent their kids to college. But you ain't get no performance that you could get. And then somebody like me roll up on roll up on you with a sub tremendously smaller, did not spend the money you spent, and then you impressed. But if you did your homework and did it right, you can come over here beat my block down. But you better know what you know when you come up against me. Now, I ain't playing no game. And I get why and I got a stick right around the corner. JT, what is, baby? I got a stick right around the corner. Man, bring them four boys over here. Let's see what they do. <laughs> Peace.